right, so it's Friday, and since they don't deliver live crawfish on Saturday, I received them today. So we're gonna pour ice on top of these mud bugs, and we're gonna keep them in my garage. It's a nice, cool 45 degree day here in Illinois. We got a, a drop in temperature for some reason. So we're gonna cover them in ice, put them in my garage, because I'm not cooking these until tomorrow. If you were cooking these the same day, you can just keep them in the box until you're ready to cook them, it's no problem. But we wanna keep these guys as alive as possible, so I'm gonna cover them with ice, put the top of the box back on, put them in my garage, and then tomorrow they get boiled. Top is back on. Let's get them in the garage. Wait till tomorrow. All right, guys, so your first order of business is put all your crawfish in the basket. Put the basket in the pot and then take your water and fill it up until the water line just covers the crawfish. If you're putting a lot of ingredients besides the crawfish in the pot with the crawfish, go about an inch or two over the crawfish. So we do have a lot of stuff going in. So I'm gonna put about an inch to two inches of water above the top of the crawfish. Once we get to that point, take your basket out and take your paddle here. I got a wooden paddle right here. I'm gonna stick the handle in, mark the water line after removing the crawfish, very important. If you mark the water line with the crawfish in there and then you take them out and clean the water and put clean water in there, it's gonna be way too much water and when you put the basket in full of your ingredients in your crawfish, you're gonna overflow the pot and it's, it's not gonna be pretty. So after we get the water line to the top of the crawfish, about an inch or two above, take the basket out, put your paddle in and mark the water line with like a knife or something. Then you can dump the dirty water and put clean water in, and then we're gonna get these crawfish in a cooler with running water to purge them, clean them a little bit, and then we'll go from there. Now this is 40 pounds of crawfish in a 100 quart um, stock pot. It's a big pot, it's the biggest pot I've ever used, so I'm sure it's gonna handle 40 pounds, no problem, but I have a lot of other ingredients, like I said, potatoes, corn, sausage, mushrooms. Uh, we got some carrots, we got some green beans going in here, sweet potatoes. All right, so now we're gonna go over to this cooler, pop the drain, and we're gonna dump these crawfish into the cooler. Put the basket aside. Oh, got some stragglers over here, these things are huge, man. All right, once they're in there, put the water in. And you're gonna fill this up and let the water um, circulate, moving the crawfish around. Pick out any dead ones you find. You don't wanna eat a dead crawfish, so pick out all the dead ones as you're doing this. The drain is letting water out so that new clean water can go in. And once the water runs clear, you get all the debris, all the dirt, all the mud out of there, they're good to go and you can cook them. So we'll let that fill up. We'll dump our dirty water out of this pot, clean it up a bit. Um, since I took, since I took the basket out, and take my knife. Just make a little notch right there. That's where our water line will be, with clean water. That way you know you got the right amount of water. You're not gonna overfill the pot when you put your basket in. Everything's all good. So let's dump this dirty water and refill it. All right, now while the crawfish are purging, water's getting all cleared up, we're gonna start seasoning our water. It's uh, simmering, it's not quite at a boil yet. So we got a four and a half pound bag of Swamp Fire for 40 pounds. And do this whole bag. Four and a half pound bag. 
You can use whatever seasonings you like. I like this swamp fire stuff. It's really good. It's not too hot, but it's got a nice kick to it. Don't break it. You can't pull it that much. Then I've got a four pound jar of Cajun Land Complete Boil. We're gonna go in with no. half of this. No, one doesn't have a ball inside of it. All right. And crawfish gotta be hot, right? Gotta be hot. So we're gonna go in with this 16 ounce jar of cayenne pepper. Sorry about the wind, hope you can still hear me. We've got a lot of extra stuff going into this pot other than the 40 pounds of crawfish, so this amount of seasoning isn't going to be overpowering or too spicy or anything. Two eight fluid ounce bottles of uh, Louisiana liquid boil. So 16 ounces total. We're gonna go in with some bay leaves here. We're not gonna use the whole jar, We're probably gonna... Uh, too many can't hurt, we'll do about 20, 25. Two and a half good pinches, one for good luck. One jar of uh, jalapeno slices pickled. This is a 32 ounce jar. This is a 32 fluid ounce bottle of Louisiana hot sauce. We're only gonna use half of this. Then for some uh, all natural flavoring, we're gonna go with one whole head of pureed celery. Still in a blender with a little bit of water and pureed up, kind of like a consistency of margarita mix. So we're gonna dump that in here. It's a uh, pureed celery head, whole head. And I think last but not least, three pound bag of uh, yellow onions, also pureed. Hot bowl. All right, now once all your water is all seasoned up, all your seasoning ingredients are in there, bring it to a boil, boil it for 10 minutes, and then uh, we're gonna add ingredients first that take the longest to boil, step it up from there until we work our way to the crawfish. So we'll be right back. All right, and real quick, I forgot to uh, film this part. I took eight oranges and 10 lemons and cut them in half, squeezed them and dropped them in, rind and everything. Um, as this water boils, it'll just boil all that pulp right out. There won't be anything left but the rind. So that'll just add nice citrus flavor to your boil. Um, don't forget that part because you're going to love it. So the next thing we're going to add to our pot since these, the seasoning has been boiling for a good 10 minutes, you want to add stuff that takes the longest to boil first, which is our red potatoes. those in. We've got some uh, sweet potatoes. Um, now I don't normally do this. This is an idea I got from another guy on YouTube. So we're going to try it out this year. Apparently it's really good. So I'm kind of just going to cut those into thirds. You know, not too huge pieces, little small manageable pieces and I'm just going to toss those in. I know we put onions in this pot already that were pureed. That's for the flavoring. Those will dissolve and disappear. We want to eat some onions too, so we're just going to have these and then quarter them. Don't worry about taking the knots off or anything. Or eighth them. Cut in half and then cut twice again. Throw them in there and uh, we're going to throw some garlic cloves in there too. What I like doing is taking a boiled garlic clove, a boiled potato, shoving the clove in the potato and then wrapping that potato with a slice of onion. It's delicious, you gotta check that out. So, we're gonna go in there with some garlic cloves also. Oh, oh, who's strong? I was gonna ask somebody, cause I wasn't strong enough. Garlic cloves in. 
So once you got your stuff that takes the longest to boil in the pot, we're gonna put the lid back on, let it come back to a boil, and boil that for another five minutes. Then we're gonna keep adding stuff. Be right back. All right, now that our potatoes, onions, garlic, sweet potatoes have been boiling for another five minutes, we're gonna add in sausages. You can use andouille, you can use whatever you want. These are just regular kielbasa sausages. Throw those in there. If you lose one, it's okay. No, it's not. All right, sausages. Then we're gonna do these white mushrooms. And these are gonna be like little flavor bombs exploding in your mouth. It's gonna be awesome. They're gonna just soak up all that juice, all that seasoning. So we're actually gonna go in here with quite a bit of these. Dunk those in. I always have a tendency of overfilling this pot. And I even used less water than I wanted to this time. All right, we got our mushrooms in. What we're also gonna do Green beans. I haven't done this before. This is something new this year. Green beans in. Also something new this year. Carrots. These are just baby carrots. You can use any size or type carrot you want. A lot of veggies in this boil. Get out of there. Get out of there. All right, once again, bring this back up to a boil. Another five minutes. And then we're gonna add some corn. Another five minutes. And then the crawfish. We'll be right back. All right, guys, now that that's been boiling for five minutes, we're gonna go in with our corn. And that is our last step before adding our crawfish. Just corn on the cob, broken in half. Ooh. Try not to burn yourself. Ow! Get in there. Be careful, boiling water is kind of hot. Lid on. Bring it back to a boil, another five minutes. And then we're actually gonna take all the vegetables out, put them in a cooler, shut the cooler and let them just steam with some seasoning in there. Then we're going to boil our crawfish just to avoid overcrowding the pot, overflowing the water. So yeah, we'll be right back. All right, and after five minutes, corn is boiled. So we're going to get all these veggies out of here. Let that drain a little bit. All right, so now, Hold on the veggies in the cooler. Get all that stuff in there. Go in with our crawfish in the basket. Pick up any stragglers that making a break for it. Into the Cajun hot tub they go. All right, crawfish are in. Cover the pot. Bring back to a boil for five, six minutes. And then I got a new toy that I'm going to show y'all to cool these down and let them soak. So bring back to a boil, five minutes, we'll be right back. So at this point, we've been boiling the crawfish for five minutes. We're going to kill the propane. Now it's time to rapidly cool these down with the boil boss. This is the new toy I was talking about. Really excited to use this. Get this lid off of here. So this adjusts to any size pot. You just avoid the handles, put it on until it latches, and we'll get our water turned on. All right. There we go. Now this, instead of diluting Sorry if you can't see me with all the steam, but instead of dumping bags of ice in here and diluting your water, diluting your seasonings, 
This cools down the water from the outside of the pot. So you turn that on, all the water comes out, and you just agitate it. And the goal here is to cool down the water as fast as possible to 150 to 160 degrees. And what that will do, you'll notice all the crawfish are floating right now. It means they're still cooking. When you stop that cooking process, they'll sink and they'll start sucking in all that flavor, all that juice, all the seasoned water. At which point, you'll let them soak for about 15 to 20 minutes. And they'll be ready to dump and eat. So I use a quick read thermo pen that I'm going to check the temperature of the water with. This happens pretty rapidly with this boil boss. It should only take about five minutes to cool down the water to that 150, 155, 160 you want to be at. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you uh, like what we're doing here. So boiling water is what, 212? So this is already down to 186 in two minutes. So 30 degrees in a few minutes. All right, and after uh, you take the basket out and let them drain, these crawfish are done. We're gonna dump the vegetables on the table first. Put down some newspaper. Right now I got butcher paper down. Vegetables first, crawfish on top, and enjoy. And I give you Cass Cooking you Crawfish Boil 2021. Bones are my teeth. All right, have at them. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Cass Cooking. If you like what we're doing, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.